Welcome to Edison TV. My name is Max Hayes, a TMT analyst here at Edison. On Wednesday, the 8th of December at 3 p.m., we will be kicking off our digital health series, exploring the investment opportunities in digital health. In our first webinar, we will be speaking with three listed companies providing digital healthcare services into the UK and other markets, discussing how we build a healthy ecosystem which benefits all. In the lead up to the webinar, I will be catching up with the C-suite executives on the panel from Babylon Health, Dr. Care Anywhere and Couth. Today, I'm speaking with Tim Barker, CEO of Couth. Hi, Tim. Thank you very much for speaking to us today. Pleasure to meet you, Max. Looking forward to the event. Fantastic. And I guess just to start off, please could you give us a brief overview of Couth, including the products you offer and the developments being made on your platform? Absolutely. So Couth is the UK's largest digital mental health platform. Uh, our largest customer, of course, is the NHS. And we are commissioned across 90% of regions in England with a specialty focus today on supporting children and young people. That's 10 to 25 year olds. This is where I go to express myself, to feel safe, feel listened to, to connect and chat with others, to know that I'm not alone. This place is Coop. There's a reason Keith is a big part of my life. Far too many of us suffer in silence with our problems. It can easily develop into something we find difficult to share with friends or family. And really our mission behind this is to help create mentally healthy communities. You know, every year one in four of us needs help with our well-being and mental health. And what we offer is a service where you can go on without a referral, get access to professional support, peer support in a safe space, Last year, we helped over 200,000 people. And certainly coming out of the last 18 months, there's been a huge demand for what we do. Um, and I can talk more about that in terms of other segments we're expanding into. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, I guess looking at just what are the key revenue drivers of the current business? Are, are they different across private and public healthcare, as well as across different geographies? In the public healthcare system in the UK, um, we've got two main services we offer. One is this service for our children and young people, which is very much, you know, at, operates at large scale. In fact, over 5.8 million people, young people across the UK have got access to our service for free. Uh, that includes every 11 to 18 year old in London, for example. Um, and that service, we continue to see a uh, growth in usage, growth in demand, and obviously with that growth in revenue. A few years ago, we also launched a service for adults. And the aim here is really to provide whole population support and especially early help, early intervention. That means that we can help people um, cheaper, more effectively, earlier, um, and keep the burden um, of cost and care out of the NHS. So there, um, Cooth for Adults is a now growing segment of our business as well. And we've got two other areas which I might put as uh, classify as startups. Uh, we've got Couth for Work, so we're selling to corporates where they can then make this available to their employees and their families as part of a well-being offer. And then we're in the early stages of scaling our service internationally. Currently we're doing a pilot in South Africa, working with young people and schools, and you know we have a global aspiration, but a pragmatic one, meaning that we intend to set up in the US directly, and outside of those two regions, US and UK, to license our technology to healthcare operators so they can bring a digital native service to their local population operated by themselves. I guess leading on from that, what is your growth strategy? Does it differ between different demographics? And uh, what are the opportunities in those new geographies you were talking about? So in the UK, across these three areas of supporting children, adults and then corporates there's a half a billion pound a year TAM that, that we see there and, and our job really is to provide a service unlike other operators perhaps in the um, mental health space 
if we can get to as I mentioned, if we can get to you early, we can have such a bigger impact uh, in supporting and improving your quality of life and lowering the cost of care. So we see you know, the real growth opportunity in the UK and where you know we're, we've got uh, over 350 employees today. In the medium to longer term, you'll start to see international play a role for us. But there's foundational work to do there to build your reputation, um, re-execute research studies that we've done in the UK in local markets, um, overcome you know perhaps um, regulatory requirements. So that, but essentially, and especially with our kind of core area of where we started with young people, they're very much underserved, almost globally, almost universally. Fifty-six percent of young people in the US receive no care for their for their mental health. So there is a huge need globally. It's now really our opportunity to like navigate through that, which is why we've got this both direct model and partner model um, to license our tech to operators. And I guess just to finish, how are you evidencing the therapeutic outcomes for the use of your platform? Yeah, it's a hugely important question. You know, there's a lot of um, VC money going into new startups to really tackle this mental health and well-being space. Over three billion dollars has gone in, but there's some foundations that really need to have. One clearly being efficacy and trust being the other one. So we've been work. You know, we've been working on this problem for 20 years. We for formed in 2001. And over that time, in addition to utilizing standard measures that are familiar and known in the traditional um, counseling world, like uh, therapeutic measures such as GAD7 for anxiety or PHQ9 for depression, um, we've also developed entirely new ones because we can provide entirely new therapies. So for example, we do a large number of support that we provide is we provide drop-in chat sessions for people that need help right now. And we built and validated those entirely new measures, working with the ecosystem, you know, of, um, of researchers and academics. And we can see there that 72% of the people that come for a session get what they need at that moment in need. And so this really is a huge advantage um, to us. It obviously, it also helps advance the state of the art in terms of digital. Um, and so we've got a great research and uh, evidence underpinning um, for what we do. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Tim. You can definitely see the importance of, uh, you know, solutions like Clues. So, uh, no, thank you very much for speaking to us today. My pleasure. Good talking to you, Max.